Uh, good evening, everybody. Um, thank you for coming. And um, you have to excuse all of the technology that's here, but I feel a little bit like it's 1967 and we're about to, the Beatles are about to do their first satellite broadcast to the world because we are actually broadcasting to the world this evening via YouTube. It's a test to see whether or not we can transmit so that people, our international parents, get a chance to um, hear. So that's why I've got a microphone and um, this camera is up here. So I feel very excited. I am the first YouTube LWC international presenter. <laughs> what a shame for, for everybody here. Um, tonight is all about you. Um, and, and sadly for those parents and guardians who made the journey here tonight, I, I actually really mean you, the ones in the grey blazers. Um, it's all about you. Um, when we all last met, uh, I, I talked to you about Peter and the wolf. Um, I'm not going to do that again, just to reassure you. And about encouraging your children to, to step out of those comfortable spaces um, and engage with the opportunities um, that would come their way. And tonight is another of those exciting opportunities. Well, why? Well, because it's the first time that you have a chance to exercise significant choice in your studies. They're choices that will allow you to create your own program of study within the blocks that we offer, obviously. And, well, before I talk any more about the decision-making process, um, I'm going to hand over to Mrs. Davis, who will explain the, the blocking structure in a bit more detail. So I'm going to unmic myself temporarily, pass that on, and go for Mrs. Davis. Um, good evening and welcome. As Steve said, my name is Jackie Davis. Um, I'm Deputy Head um, and I'm responsible for writing the school timetable. Um, so what I want to talk to you briefly about is how the timetable in September is going to be influenced by your choices. Um, and to help you to understand that, I thought I'd show you my initial thoughts for your draft option blocks for September 2016. Um, there's a copy of this in your pack, and if you don't have a pack, um, I've got some spare copies of this, uh, which you can pick up a little bit later on, because it will be useful for you as you talk to the subject staff about your choices and your thoughts. So, what's it all about? Well, at LWC, pupils, most pupils study 10 GCSEs. Um, some will choose to study for nine. How do we get to the 10 GCSEs? Well, we have what's known as a core curriculum. And in the core curriculum at the bottom of this slide, uh, we have normally two English GCSEs, one maths GCSE, and then at least double science. And that creates subject combinations which add up to a total of five. So you've got five subjects by the time you've got two English GCSEs, one maths and two science. And then on top of that, there are five option blocks. And the idea is that you pretty much choose one subject from each of those blocks, and that creates your 10 subject combination. Um, so within those choices, there is a further element of core curriculum. And what we ask at LWC is that everybody studies at least one modern foreign language. So everybody pup every pupil studies French, German, or Spanish. Um, and also, every pupil studies one humanity, and the humanities are classified as history, geography, and classics. Uh, note that RS is not part of that list. Um, that's a government decision, um, not mine. Um, so blame the government if you don't like that, um, but that's part of the EBAC. So, how do you go about making these choices? Well, I suggest that you follow this route down here. One of the first decisions you need to make is whether you want to study double science or whether you want to study the three sciences separately. Um, and that's a conversation to have with Mr. Summers and the science department this evening. Then you need to decide whether you're going to study nine GCSEs or ten GCSEs or EAL, English as an additional language. That's for our international pupils. Um, if you're going to study separate sciences, you need to choose that over there in column P. And if you want to choose nine GCSEs, you need to choose that in column P as well. 
Um, now, you cannot choose two subjects from the same column, so we may need to adjust these columns to accommodate your choices. These columns do allow um, lots of common choices, lots of common combinations to be fitted into the timetable, but they are just my initial thoughts, and you as a year group, your choices may be very different to what I anticipate. So these blocks will change over the next month or so to accommodate what our pupils want to study. Um, so separate sciences, nine GCSEs, 10 GCSEs, EAL, they are key decisions that you will need to make, and you need to choose those from the appropriate columns. Um, you need to then decide which modern foreign language you want to study, and you may decide that you're going to choose that in column Q, where most of the languages are focused. That's where most of our language teaching is going to be in the timetable in September. But you will notice there are additional French groups, and there's an additional Spanish group as well scattered in the other blocks. So you may find that your choice fits better by choosing your modern language in, for example, column R. French. You need to decide which humanity you're going to study. So are you going to do geography, history, or classics? And you need to try to choose that from another combination, uh, from another column still. And then finally, you complete your options by um, choosing one from each block. So if you haven't chosen one from block T, for example, choose one subject from that block. Um, it's quite complicated. Um, and often I'm asked, can I choose two subjects from the same column? Um, the answer is no, you cannot. And the reason for that is, in the timetable in September, these subjects, these groups, will all be timetabled at the same time. Um, so no pupil can be in RS and, for example, um, computer science at the same time. So you can only choose one subject from each column. And it's trying to work out where you're going to choose your subjects and trying to get that perfect fit. As I've said, these are just my initial thoughts. Um, on the 8th of February, I will be asking you to let me know your combinations of subjects. I'll be sending you a letter with these blocks um, published in the letter and ask you to let me know, does your combination of subjects fit or doesn't it? And if it does, then that's great. Tell me what it is. And if it doesn't, then I need to know what combination of subjects you would like, what you would prefer, and I will look at amending the blocks to make your combination fit. Um, and then over February half term, I will look at moving the subjects around to try to create a better fit for the year group overall, so that as many of you can study all of the subjects that you want to study. And normally, I get pretty close to achieving 100% satisfaction, so fingers crossed. Um, and then I'll publish the final blocks in March before the parents' evening. And at the parents' evening, you'll have the opportunity to talk to your teachers in order to decide exactly what your final combination of subjects is going to be. And I'll ask you for a second um, list of subjects at that point. So again, in the past, some people have got confused. I've already let you know my Trump combination of subjects. Um, yes, but we do need it finalized in March. And even if it hasn't changed, we need to know that to then assign teaching groups for September. I hope that's reasonably clear. I do know it's a little bit weird and a bit complicated, um, and it's sort of tied in with timetable land. Um, but do please ask um, later on if you have any questions about that. Um, and meanwhile, I'm going to hand back to Mr. Badger, hand back to Mr. Badger, who's going to talk to you about how to make that decision, um, how to decide what subjects will fit into the blocks for you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Um, in a moment, you'll have a chance to talk to the heads of departments um, about the subjects you can study, to tutors and to the house parents who are here. And everyone's here to help you make the right decisions, ultimately. Ones that we hope will lead you to be happy and confident students at GCSE who make the most of all of the opportunities that are available within the curriculum. And it's important to say at this point as well that you will be the first cohort to study the all-new GCSE um, specifications. Um, with new syllabuses in every subject and a radical change to the way they're marked, it goes to numerical grades, 
from 9 downwards, replacing the A star um, going downwards. So what we'll try to do is to send you out something reasonably um, straightforward to explain those changes um, to you. But you can talk to um, the various heads of departments to find out a little bit more. Um, at the moment, 9 will be the very, very top A star. And roughly speaking, it seems that a C would be equivalent to a 4 or a 5, but there's no uh, absolute clarity on that at the moment. Um, there's also a parents' evening on the 15th of March when teachers um, will discuss both your child's progress and likely success at GCSE. So that's another um, final point at which you can have discussions and concluding discussions. That's right. Um, so how do you make the decisions? Well, in your hands, you have the GCSE Choices booklet. That tells you about all of the subjects you can choose at GCSE. It also tells you about the careers program um, over the coming two years. And sadly, Mrs. Ormark is not able to be with us this evening, but she is more than happy for you to contact her um, by email. But she did send through the following information, which might be relevant as you're making the choices. On that 15th of March, they will have a morning career session followed by going to the careers fair, which is the LWC careers fair, and they get a chance to speak um, to approximately 30 Sternians and parents, possibly some of you, I don't know, um, it has happened, um, about their careers and their career paths. And it's quite a useful chance to hear about what subjects they studied and how it led them to be where they are now. Um, there's also an online resource that you might find useful as parents, which is the Russell Group's booklet called Informed Choices. Um, which outlines those subjects which are known as facilitating subjects, ones that enable pupils to have a successful transition into higher education courses of their choice. Um, it's particularly aimed at choices in the fifth form, um, but it does give you an insight into what A-level subjects are seen um, uh, for various, uh, as, as useful for various degrees. And if you want to go to there, there is a link um, on the online resources under third form on the VLE and a shortened booklet will be circulated uh, to all pupils via tutors next week. So if you have a clear idea about the career path you wish to follow, it could be a useful guide for choices um, at GCSE, to be, whether it's to become a vet, a medic, or, or a translator at the UN, who knows? Um, if you don't have an idea about a career, and I'd like to group myself in that, that I'm still trying to work out which career I really want to be in, um, well, it's quite common, so, so don't worry. It's absolutely fine. Um, think about perhaps what you enjoy studying. If you find the subject engaging, you're enthusiastic about it, well, that's an important factor in choosing whether or not to carry on. Think about what the subject involves in terms of both subject content and the skills it requires. Is essay writing, practical, performance skills are important in there. And think about maintaining breadth across your choices might be a little early to close down some avenues and um, we aim to encourage you to have as broad and balanced a set of choices as possible um, and you might want to have conversations with various members of staff about the possibilities there. Most importantly use this evening, talk to the various heads of department here, find out what you'll be doing in the GCSE course, find out what topics you'll be studying and what skills you'll need and remember finally that the choice is yours. We'll guide you and we'll support you in your choices. So I think without any more delay, it's time to hand you over to the heads of department who are lined up at the back. They're going to move over there. Um, you can queue up, talk to them. House parents and tutors are here. Mrs. Davis and I are here. So without any further ado, thank you for listening and I'll let you carry on. <laughs>